from the Detroit Tigers. And, uh, man, I, you know, not once but twice you get drilled yesterday. Yeah. So thanks for being here today. How are you feeling, we man? Yeah, you were made it. yeah, I didn't think I was going to make it, but I made it gee, somehow. Gee whiz. I mean, that's yeah. some way to start a series. <laughs> yeah. 98 to the head is not fun. Concussion protocol happened just like that. Talk talk about what happened. Just, uh, well, the first one just hit me in the back, so yeah. that was, like, the best best case. Uh, second one was uh, two two count, I think it was, and uh, look away, look away. Oh, you don't have to. That was the first one. That was a good one. This one's not good. Oh no. Uh, not good. no. Yeah, and that's you can skip the next part. <laughs> and you're more chap. <laughs> that's the LSU football player. Yeah, you that came yeah. Out no, there. it was. Uh, I, didn't, I was just happy I got out the way. I, I, it, get, it got my helmet, I guess, in the perfect spot and knocked it off. So I didn't even, I didn't really feel it, but. It scared the hell out of me. Have you ever seen a guy react to getting hit in the dome like that? <laughs> like, that like you were mad at yourself for a minute. Were you, char were you contemplating charge? No, no. I wasn't even mad, I wasn't even mad at him necessarily. Right. For, it was just kind of – it was like a reaction. It was just it was just one of those things that happened. But uh, the Yankees fans weren't very happy with me after, after that. Shane, Shane, let me ask you, and we'll, we'll get into the baseball stuff here beyond uh, just Mikey getting drilled twice yesterday. <laughs> you as a ex-Yankee, when you come back to play here as a Tiger now, is this just any other destination for you, or is it still a place that you have some sentimentality for? Um, no, it, it brings back memories for sure. Uh, Playing here was, was crazy. I uh, came from a small town in Florida, so being here and having my family here, my dad was like Crocodile Dundee trying to figure out. <laughs> uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun and memories that I'll never forget for sure. That's awesome. I yeah. want to ask Mikey, you're banging. Huh. Only since July, man, 347, <laughs> seven doubles, four bombs, 15 ribbies, fifth highest average in the AL. Anything you're doing different or just getting consistent ABs? Uh, hit it. Just got hit. Just hit it. <laughs> just just got to hit the ball. I don't know where it's going to go. No, I, uh, man, last year I got in a, a big, I got, I got in some bad habits. I hurt my oblique, so I, like, I got in a bunch of bad habits. So I spent probably the first two months, spring training, April, of just basically just kind of getting more linear, trying to save everything up the middle and just kind of click. I got more upright. Uh, did the George Springer approach and just kind of let it fly. And yeah. oh, you were talking about that? Yeah, just kind of just, uh, yeah. Yeah. just let it go. Hey, yeah. These guys are throwing 97. Got yeah. sink. I mean, yeah. speaking of 97, now you're moving into a new role. And, and uh, how are you welcoming this? Are you? I'm excited. Excited, uh, yes. I haven't had an opportunity to do it yet, but um, I'm really excited. As soon as they told me that I was going into the bullpen last year, obviously that was a goal of mine uh, to one day be a closer. And, uh, Brad told me yesterday that I was going to get that opportunity, so hopefully I get a chance tonight. Well, I mean, what, what changes in terms of your preparation now? I mean, uh, as a guy that used to start and then a guy that was moved to bullpen work, now the ninth inning, how do you, how do you change your um, My mentality isn't really going to change. The only thing that really changed yesterday was my first time. I came out in the third instead of the first. Uh, but other than that, nothing's really going to change. I know it's the hardest three outs to get in baseball. Um, so pitch selection might be a little bit different, but mentality-wise and routine-wise, I think I got it down pretty much. Uh, so we just got to see. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. Take me inside the, the clubhouse a little bit. You've watched J.D. Martinez walk out the door. You, you watched a couple teammates, Justin Wilson. What's, what's the mindset of the guys? Uh, yesterday was a little weird, you know, because we just didn't know. You hear everything. I mean, we're not, not, we're not oblivious to, you know, the rumblings. Yeah. But uh, you kind of hear about it, and you just – you hope you hope that it, you hope for the best, and just kind of try to keep your head down and go. And whoever's in the clubhouse when you walk in, you play. You just go out there and play. <laughs> but uh, you know, obviously, Jay Willie was a huge part um, yeah. of our of our team. Obviously, you know, JD too. But um, you know, it's tough to see those guys go, especially guys that you you know kind of build relationships with. But it's part of the business, part of the game, and uh, you show with it, the guys. Huh? Yeah, you for were sure. fired but up. I was, I was, yeah, it was a different situation for me. It was an off season, what middle of the season, um, so it was just a new opportunity for me. So it was, it was kind of a little, a little different. People, people forget it's, 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 it's we, we look at it and think it's everything is so seamless, but mm -hmm. it's really not. I mean, even as teammates oh, yeah. leave, am I, am I correct? I mean, uh, JV was uh, everybody thought he was going to be gone, and uh -huh. all of a sudden he stayed. I mean, was there a sigh of relief when you saw that he didn't go anywhere? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially his presence in the in the clubhouse, uh, not only for us but for the fans in Detroit. Um, to have him around still, it's going to be big time. Tell me, uh, it, because when you think about the Tigers, the, the top of mind guys are Miggy, uh, Verlander, V-Mart. Who, who's a guy, a teammate, present company excluded, 
that doesn't get the kind of run they should there. Who's the sneaky below the radar guy that Kinsler. we should be talking about? Yeah, yeah. I know. And I mean, Kinsler. I don't know how people stop talking because he's the best. I mean, Ken's is like, he's just kind of the, he's the engine that makes the car run for us, for, at least for me. Um, me personally, he's made baseball a lot more fun again. You know, he's 35, but he acts like he's 21 on the field. Like it's, and to me, he's the best. Obviously, all those guys that you mentioned are, are all stars and superstars and great players and leaders, but. To me, Ken's is, is yeah, the engine makes it run. He's my sure. favorite player to watch play day in and day out. Yeah. Wow, it's interesting to hear a pitcher yeah, talk yeah. about a position player like that. I was ready for you to talk about a staff mate, but instead, if I asked you specifically about a staff mate, who's the guy that doesn't get enough run? I would say Alex Wilson. Okay. Uh, I mean, the guy can pitch. He's pitch I've, I've seen him pitch in the second. I've seen him pitch in the ninth. Um, you call his name, he's ready to go. He's going to get as many outs as he can. Uh, so probably Alex Wilson learned a lot from that guy. Here's another Alex question. What did what did Alex Avila say to you guys after his dad sent him packing? <laughs> That's well, such a weird deal. The problem is we were it was we were sleeping. Yeah. Like we weren't even uh, we weren't I even didn't there. Get to see we didn't get to see him. So but I mean Al, Alex is he is great. He's he I tell I tell him this all the time. He's the last old school baseball player. He's Shoes, the pants right above the shoes, the old black and white. I said, they don't even make those at Nike. He has to get them. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he's awesome. He just goes out there and does his thing. He's great. Awesome. He's the best. I want to know, I, I'm not going to tell you your numbers. Are you a big numbers guy? No. <laughs> you dominate at Comerica. Is there, is there a reason? Are there certain mounds you step on where you just feel um, way more comfortable? Not really. I mean, every once in a while, there's that mound that feels like it's a mile away. But other than that, they're all the same, I guess. Um, just maybe just, maybe being at home sleeping in my own bed or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys got two to do two it. scandal theory questions that we uh, talk about uh, down yeah. here all the uh -oh. time. There's two things that they get a lot of run nationally. Uh, the balls are juiced. We hear this a lot. And pace of play. Do players talk about these things? Or is this just <laughs> us, the media idiots, making these things go? Say it. No, <laughs> people talk, people Go talk it. about it. People mention it. Players talk about that stuff? Some, some players. I mean, obviously, the balls are juiced. I'm not going to say complain about the yeah. balls. <laughs> at all. I mean, Thank I want you. them. Juice them more. If you want. <laughs> juice them more. It's fine. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we talk. people talk about it. Pace of play. I mean, we play four-hour games on the reg. Like it's, yeah, that's our thing. Four-hour games yeah. is kind of our thing. We, if, I think we've played, like, six, seven, nine-ending four-hour games. Like, it's... Wow. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know the, like the solution to it. But I mean, it's it's definitely talked about in the clubhouse for sure. I don't know if players care about pace of play. Like, if it's a long game, it's a long game. Like, I feel like it's a concern that other people have, and players aren't as concerned as maybe we are or league ex executives are. Yeah, I'm not concerned about it. Um, yeah, the the game's the, been this way forever, uh, and I personally take a lot of time in between pitches, and that's how I get locked in. So if you need to take a long time to get locked in before you get in the box, by all means. What, what do you really think about that four pitch, you know, uh, omitting that and just going to first base and turning a walk? I don't like, I like the, I like yeah, throwing Yeah, but you don't it. have to throw those four you <laughs> But that's why I like throwing it. The year, last year when I was in Tampa, we had a, a intentional walk. We were trying to intentionally walk Gary Sanchez, and he almost hit a three-run homer. He didn't sacrifice fly off an intentional walk. Like, didn't help us at the time, but it's like still kind of exciting. You don't know if the pitcher's gonna airmail it, and I don't know. I think it's just <laughs> you yeah, like part of the game. Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. How are you guys with uh, art, drawing, sketch? Not, Any, not, not good. a skill set. Not, That's good. Six, That's six good. figures about as you good as I can get. You have to be better than Tommy Fam. Wow. I, I don't know. Yeah, we'll show you. <laughs> I don't we'll know. Show you I, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs>